Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm a little bit emotional today because it's my final Mass Singer recap of the year. Season two has wrapped up and has crowned a new winner. And by the way, a little birdie has told me that season three is already in production. So we have something to look forward to, I believe, in early February of 2020, season three of The Masked Singer. Uh, I was so fortunate enough to get to watch this finale. Uh, before it aired, because I was really excited to see how who's going to win, what song choices. Because really, like they used to say in American Idol, it's all about the song choice. It really is. So, up first on the grand finale of the Mass Singer was the Fox. And you're looking mighty foxy, Kelly Smith. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> now, the Fox sang a song I was not really familiar with. I mean, I think really? I heard it. It was called "Try a Little Tenderness." Can you hear this? It's not that, a song I knew. That but sounds it's... like an old soul number. It reminded me kind of like that Motowny. Yeah, Motown. Ah, I know, like that. Now I'm telling you, the Fox nailed it. Really? I mean, the the soul in his voice. Yeah. The you could hear the pain. You could oh, hear. Oh, love that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, the Fox nailed it. Hit it out of the park. I like his voice. Had a lot of great dance moves as well. Did you know? Just the body movements were just body like. Body movement. Now the whole season, the Fox. Uh huh. Is a great dancer. He could have been in a boy band. Okay. Like now, does that count with people judging? Is that the whole thing? Well, or to just... me, if you're going to judge somebody, you're looking at the whole thing. You're hearing the voice, but yeah. you're seeing the production. Well, you can't help. It's a visual thing, too. So yes, it's visual. And if you have yeah. dancers and you're like doing yeah. all these yeah. moves and kakai. That's going to make you like it more. It just is. <laughs> Did you like my kakai? <laughs> <laughs> we, hey, we got to bring that back into in 2020. In 2020, okay. <laughs> we're kakaing. Okay, okay, thank you, Mr. Fox. Yes. Um, okay, so the Fox did a great performance. Lots of guesses. The main two guesses between him were Jamie Fox and Wayne Brady between the judges. Now, up next was the Flamingo. Kelly's back as the Flamingo. Mm -hmm. Now, the Flamingo, who I have said has an amazing voice the entire run of the show. Great voice. I'm saying... Proud Mary. Oh. A little Tina Turner, wow. if you will. Wow, I job. Gotcha. Oh, the fast version. I love that. Oh, yeah. Oh. I love that. This song is just so good. It is. On so many levels. Now, this Ooh. is Tina. Oh, this is Tina, of course. Yeah. It is. I love this song. She really did a great job. Mm -hmm. Now, here's my only complaint with the flamingo. Okay. When you have the fox singing something that shows off your voice so right. this one much, doesn't. this one is not really showing off the vocals. Right, it doesn't. Even though Flamingo did a great job the whole season showing off the vocals, I really wanted to hear her wail. When she sang Alleluia oh, on the yeah. holiday mm -hmm. Christmas episode, it was like. Maybe she was trying to give some variety. She was, and she was dancing, okay. which was good. That was good. Yeah. Okay. So, Flamingo did good. The main guesses were Adrian Bailon, who was a cheetah girl. Okay. And, oh, I can't remember what they said. But anyway, Flamingo, hats off to you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Hats off to you. Okay. And then finally, in the rounding out the trio of the three finalists was the Rottweiler singing a song I did not know at all by Sia called Alive. Now, I love Sia. Mm -hmm. Do you know this song? Uh, Alive? I have to hear it. Probably. We're hearing it now. Yeah, I've heard that. So you know that? Yeah. I love seeing. I did not know that song. The Rottweiler did a beautiful male version of this song, showed the range, was in it to win it. Like, to me, after watching all three performances, I thought, okay, this is kind of between the Fox and the Rottweiler. That was my opinion. But then it was up to the studio audience and the judges to vote. Now, here's my Rottweiler. Here's my concern. We never get the, the results, so I want to actually see the numbers. I think the mass Singer should change it next season where we get to see percentage because I want to actually see how many votes went to the people because it's not like American Idol where you can call in America votes. Right. This is just studio audience, which I'm shocked the studio audience who's in there, there have been no spoilers. Any, the two seasons we've had, zero spoilers. So who is in that audience and how do they keep them from talking? No kidding. It's a huge studio audience. The only thing I can think of is they pack the audience with uh, industry insiders who know better. You know what I'm saying? Or they film each person winning. By themselves without an audience? Right. They, or like with the audience, knowing that like, oh, I don't know which one won. Oh, like 
you like know what? Everyone wins. RuPaul's, then... RuPaul's Drag Race does that. When they do the grand finale, they film three different endings. So when that audience leaves, they don't know till the night it airs which one actually won. Right. So that's a very good. But still, people might. Spoil like, oh, the Rottweiler was this person. You know what I'm saying, though? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Rottweiler. Now we're going to get to the top three. Okay. So, Kelly, in third place was the Flamingo. Third place was the Flamingo. And I will say, at the end of The Last Mass Singer last Friday, yes. I predicted that this was Adrienne Bailon just for the whole reason that everybody was guessing her. And I, I don't know her and her voice. Okay. So it was revealed the Flamingo was in third place. Adrienne Bailon. Okay. It was her. She is gorgeous, by the way. She is. I don't know her. An amazing voice. Great voice. So, okay. ha happy for her. Third place. There you go. Third place. Okay. Now, in second place, who I also predicted, it was the Rottweiler. The Rottweiler was in second place, and it was revealed that the Rottweiler was none other than, who I kind of predicted last week, because I kind of thought, Chris Daughtry of Daughtry and American wow, Idol. Wow, he has a really big beard now. He d doesn't his head look really giant in that out outfit? Kind of. Is that, is that me? Or maybe it looks small. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it was Chris Daughtry, which I'm like, it made no sense because he's successful in his band Daughtry. Yeah, I don't know why he would do that. I don't either. <laughs> Kelly, sorry. sorry. That's okay, Kelly, come on okay. in. Because the, the only person left is the Fox, okay. who was the grand prize winner. Yeah. Now, going into it, there mm -hmm. were two guesses, either Jamie Foxx right. and Wayne Brady. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I agree with Jenny McCarthy that the Fox is too on the money. Like, if you're going to be a Fox, why be Jamie Foxx? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. And it turned out to be the, none other than the incomparable, I, I predicted this one, Wayne Brady, who, by the way, I had no idea how good he was till he was on the show. I have heard him sing before. And, and here's the thing. You mm. wonder about him. You know he's got a full-time career now. Uh, deal or no deal? deal or, or no, no deal. let's make a deal. Yeah, let's make a deal. But you wonder if he's happy with that, with all this other talent that he, you know, maybe that's why he's see, doing See, I this. knew, like, you knew he could sing, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know he could dance as well as he danced. Uh, yeah, he is really talented. He blew me out of the water. Mm -hmm. So, season two is over. Yeah. Season three, I believe, is going to be premiering right after the Super Bowl on Fox. Okay. So that's something to look forward to. And with the success of the show, I think the celebrities are now kind of clamoring. Yeah, they want to be on the show. Yes. Yeah. In my opinion, I love Wayne Brady, but he is no Patti LaBelle. I'll just well, say Well, I know. I love me some Patti. I agree.